I'm Dr. Linda Brown, neurologist and migraine sufferer. My primary care clinician asked me what it takes for my day to become a migraine day. You can see the cause of my migraine is rarely one single thing. It's usually, well, everyday life. It took me a long time to accept the idea that migraine wasn't simply paying dues for things I'd done or hadn't done. Like my mother and my sister, I've inherited the genetics for migraine. With most migraines, I have symptoms that appear before the headache actually begins. These early symptoms, called prodrome, likely occur as a result of neurochemical changes in my brain. I feel tired, start to yawn, don't think as clearly, muscles begin to hurt, and I get irritable. No means no. no. Migraine is a series of steps through which the nervous system becomes increasingly sensitized beginning in the peripheral branches of the trigeminal nerve. To understand the array of symptoms that can occur during migraine, we must understand the anatomy of the trigeminal nerve and the trigeminovascular system. The trigeminal nerve has three branches. The ophthalmic branch, relaying sensory information from the forehead and the meninges, including the meningeal blood vessels. The second is the maxillary branch, relaying information from the mid-face, including the sinuses. The third branch supplies sensation to the teeth and lower jaw. Sensory input converges in the brainstem in the trigeminal nucleus called alice. Then, input from upper cervical dermatomes enters. This is the anatomical basis for the wide variety of migraine symptoms, throbbing pain, sinus area pressure, congestion, and tender, sore muscles. This sensory information is processed through the thalamus and ultimately reaches the cerebral cortex. The trigeminovascular system becomes activated during migraine by different mechanisms. One theory for migraine with aura is that electrical changes in the cerebral cortex activate the trigeminal branches in the meninges, a process called spreading cortical depression. A blank spot appears in the middle of what I'm looking at and grows outward. Other factors may also activate the trigeminal system. Falling estrogen levels may cause menstrual migraine, and for some, exposure to certain odors or flickering lights. Peripheral trigeminal nerve branches in the meninges release vasoactive substances such as CGRP and inflammatory mediators such as kinins, which activate prostaglandins. These factors lead to vasodilatation in the meninges and further stimulation of the trigeminal nerve. Dysfunction then occurs in the central portions of the trigeminal circuit at the level of the nucleus called alus, which may fire independently of the stimulation from the periphery, a process called central sensitization. The headache intensifies and other cardinal features of the migraine appear, including light sensitivity and nausea. Because of the connections to the nucleus caudalis, a wide variety of other symptoms may occur with migraine, including sinus, dental, and neck pain. So, migraine is a series of steps. The susceptible brain is exposed to events capable of starting the migraine process. Neurochemical and electrical changes in the brain produce early symptoms of prodrome or aura. Activation of the trigeminal nerve branches cause the release of vasoactive peptides and kinins leading to peripheral sensitization. And finally, dysfunction in the central portions of the trigeminal circuit lead to self-sustained stimulation or central sensitization.